Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Hey there, energy enthusiasts! Welcome to Renee Energy's YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into one of the hottest topics in sustainable energy, storage solutions. As we transition to a greener future, storing energy from renewable sources is becoming increasingly crucial. In this video, we'll compare two leading technologies that are shaping the future of energy storage, green hydrogen and battery systems like the Tesla Megapack. Whether you're an industry professional, a student, or just curious about sustainable energy, stick around. We're about to unpack the pros and cons of these technologies and explore how they'll impact our energy landscape. Let's get started. Section 1, Energy Density and Storage Duration. Let's kick things off by talking about energy density and storage duration. Think of this as how much energy we can pack into a given space and how long we can keep it there. First up, hydrogen. This lightweight element packs a serious punch when it comes to energy density by weight. In fact, hydrogen stores about three times more energy per kilogram than gasoline. This high energy density makes hydrogen ideal for large-scale, long-term energy storage. Imagine being able to store vast amounts of summer solar energy to power through those dark winter months. That's where hydrogen shines. On the flip side, we have battery systems like the Tesla Megapack. While they may not match hydrogen's energy density by weight, they excel in energy density by volume. This means they can store a lot of energy in a relatively compact space. Megapacks are designed for shorter-term storage, typically managing daily or weekly fluctuations in energy supply and demand. To put this into perspective, let's consider a practical example. A hydrogen storage facility could store enough energy to power a small city for months, making it perfect for seasonal energy balancing. In contrast, a Tesla Megapack installation could efficiently manage the daily energy needs of that same city, smoothing out the peaks and troughs in electricity demand throughout the day. The key takeaway? Hydrogen is your marathon runner, excellent for long-distance energy storage. Battery systems like the Megapack are your sprinters, ideal for quick, responsive energy management. Both have crucial roles to play in our future energy mix. Section 2 scalability and infrastructure. Now, let's talk about scaling up these technologies. After all, we're going to need a lot of storage capacity as we transition to renewable energy. Hydrogen storage has enormous potential for scalability. We're talking about storing energy in massive underground caverns or networks of pressurized tanks. The beauty of hydrogen is that we can produce it whenever we have excess renewable energy and store truly massive amounts. However, and it's a big however, this scalability comes with a catch. Building hydrogen infrastructure requires significant investment. We're talking about electrolyzers to produce the hydrogen, specialized storage facilities, and systems to convert it back to electricity or transport it for other uses. On the battery side, systems like the Tesla Megapack offer a different kind of scalability. These are modular, plug-and-play solutions. Need more storage? Just add more Megapacks. It's like stacking energy storing Lego bricks. This modularity makes battery systems incredibly flexible. They can be deployed quickly and easily integrated into existing grid systems. Let's visualize this. Imagine a growing city with increasing energy needs. A hydrogen storage solution might involve expanding an underground storage facility and upgrading the surrounding infrastructure, a major project. For a battery solution, you might see a field of megapacks that can be expanded unit by unit as needed. The scalability of both technologies is impressive, but they serve different needs. Hydrogen excels at massive, centralized storage, while battery systems offer quick, distributed scalability. As we build our future grid, we'll likely need both approaches to create a resilient and flexible energy system. Section 3. Efficiency and Losses Alright, let's get into the nitty-gritty of efficiency. When we store energy, we always lose some in the process. The question is, how much? For hydrogen, the journey from electricity to storage and back is a bit like a leaky bucket. We start with renewable electricity to produce hydrogen through electrolysis. Then we compress or liquefy it for storage, 
and finally convert it back to electricity and fuel cells. Each step comes with energy losses. The round trip efficiency, that's the percentage of energy we get back compared to what we put in, typically ranges from 30% to 40%. That might sound low, but remember, hydrogen's strength lies in its ability to store vast amounts of energy for long periods. Now, let's look at battery storage like the Tesla Megapack. These systems are efficiency champions, with round trip efficiencies usually between 80% and 90%. That's because the energy doesn't need to change forms, it goes in as electricity and comes out as electricity, with fewer steps in between. To put this in perspective, imagine we have 100 units of excess solar energy on a sunny day. If we store it as hydrogen, we might only get 30 to 40 units back when we need it. With a battery system, we'd get 80 to 90 units back. Sounds like batteries win hands down, right? Not so fast. Remember, hydrogen can be used directly in many applications without converting back to electricity. It can fuel vehicles, heat homes, or serve as a feedstock for industrial processes. In these cases, the efficiency picture looks quite different. The takeaway? Batteries are more efficient for short-term electricity storage, while hydrogen offers unique benefits for long-term and multi-use applications. Section 4 cost and economic viability. Now, let's talk money. After all, for these technologies to make a real impact, they need to make economic sense. Currently, hydrogen storage is the pricier option. The costs of electrolyzers, storage facilities, and the energy losses we discussed all add up. However, many experts predict that as the technology matures and production scales up, the costs will come down significantly. There's also growing interest in using hydrogen to decarbonize sectors that are hard to electrify, like steel production or long-haul shipping. This could create additional demand and drive further cost reductions. On the battery front, we've seen dramatic cost decreases over the past decade. The cost of lithium-ion batteries has fallen by around 90% since 2010. Systems like the Tesla Megapack are already economically viable for many grid storage applications, especially for short-term needs like peak shaving or grid stabilization. Let's break this down with a simplified example. Today, storing energy in batteries might cost around $150 per kilowatt hour, while hydrogen storage could be closer to $200 or more. But these numbers are constantly changing, and the economic picture looks different depending on the specific application and storage duration. It's also worth noting that as we integrate more renewable energy into our grids, the value of storage increases. Being able to store excess renewable energy instead of curtailing it can significantly improve the economics of both hydrogen and battery storage. The bottom line? While batteries currently have a cost advantage for short-term storage, both technologies are becoming increasingly economically viable. The future energy market will likely have room for both, serving different needs and timescales. Section 5. Environmental Impact Let's talk about the environmental impact of these technologies. After all, the whole point of renewable energy storage is to create a more sustainable future, right? Green hydrogen, produced using renewable energy, has minimal carbon emissions during production and use. It's a clean energy carrier that can help decarbonize tough sectors like heavy industry and long-haul transport. However, we need to be mindful of potential hydrogen leaks, which could have some atmospheric impacts. Battery storage systems like the Tesla Megapack also support clean energy integration with low operational emissions but we need to consider the entire life cycle. The production of batteries requires mining of materials like lithium, cobalt, and nickel, which can have environmental impacts. The good news is that these batteries are long-lasting and recyclable, and the industry is constantly working on improving sustainability. Both technologies play crucial roles in enabling greater use of renewable energy, which is key to fighting climate change. They both have environmental considerations, but when used to replace fossil fuel-based systems, the net impact is overwhelmingly positive. The takeaway? Both hydrogen and battery storage are valuable tools in our fight against climate change, each with its own environmental pros and cons to manage. Conclusion As we've seen, both hydrogen storage and battery systems like the Tesla Megapack have crucial roles to play in our sustainable energy future. Hydrogen shines in long-term, large-scale storage and offers flexibility across sectors. Batteries excel in efficiency, quick response, and are ideal for short-term grid management. The future of energy storage isn't about choosing one technology over the other. It's about using each where it's most effective, creating a diverse and resilient energy system that can support a fully renewable grid. If you're as excited about this energy revolution as we are at Rene Energy, why not dive deeper? 
Visit our website at reneenergy.com to explore our green hydrogen project development and financing course. Whether you're a professional looking to upskill or an enthusiast wanting to understand the industry better, this course will equip you with the knowledge to be part of the green hydrogen revolution. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insights into renewable energy and sustainability. Thanks for watching, and remember, the future of energy is green, and it's stored. See you in the next video. Thanks for tuning into the ReneEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.